to the tutorial for Avatar Room theme editor. A lot of people have asked for this and in this video I am going to try and explain a few basics of this really powerful and easy to use tool. The Avatar Room theme editor is essentially a software available for Windows, Mac as well as Linux PCs. Once installed, you can use it not only to make particular changes to any theme that you choose, but maybe build a new theme from scratch and then share it with the community. The link to the software file can be found in the description if you are on YouTube right now, so do give it a try whenever you get the time. Without much further ado, I'll go ahead and click on the icon for the theme editor over here, and I'll be greeted by this window. Now the only option that we see here is a file option. If I click on that, there are a few more options down here. I'll select download theme, which will take me to this loading screen, followed by this. So what this is, is essentially a depository of all the themes that we have available for Avatar Room right now. Now you might like Summer Memory as a theme, but you really don't like the way the lock looks on it, or maybe the icons on Arakunali. So why not, because this is what we're going to tell you as to how to use a theme editor to change each and every variable within the theme, just so that it looks just the way you want it to be. So I have already downloaded a theme for demonstration purposes, that is the Anna theme over here. So I'll just go ahead and click on File, Open APK, and click on Anna theme, which I'll then open. It'll take me to this decompiling window. It will maybe take more than just maybe half a second or so. Um, not too long, so you can basically do whatever you want to do in the time duration. And there it is, finished successfully. So right now I see that there are a few more options out here like apps as well as miscellaneous. If I click on file though, there's an option to save the APK just the way I've downloaded it. I can even upload to a server and install and apply, but I'll come back to these later. For the timing though, I'll select apps. And what you see down here, like system UI, MMS, browser, now all these are essentially applications which have been themed by our theme. So each of them have some different drawables as well as colors which you can change. To give an example, I'll go to form and click on the drawables. And I'll be greeted by the screen which looks pretty confusing in the beginning but it really is not. So first of all, what you need to do is select a DPI. Now an XH DPI is essentially if you have a 720p plus screen like maybe a Galaxy S3 or an S4 or the HTC One. Uh, HDPI is pretty good enough for some previous generation devices like the Nexus models. Uh, the MDPI on the other hand it supports some very low resolution devices. If you really have something like that, you still have it covered. Um, now coming down over here, you see these very drawables like BTN call, BTN call pressed, which are like empty boxes. Now the only reason they are empty is because these are aspects of the OS which we have not really gone ahead and themed for. I mean they don't make a lot of difference but if at all you want to change it, all you need to do is basically click on it and select your file which you want to maybe replace that background or for that matter <coughs> our audio compound. Um, right now though the ones I'm going to focus on are these bits. Um, this is essentially the dialer pad and maybe I don't really like the way the icons look on the dialer. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on it and maybe then I can search for any image file which can be PNG, a JPEG or a GIF file and I could replace it with you know a new one. Uh, you might have downloaded off the internet or you might have even made one on your own so anything is decent enough for that. All you need to do is just find it out, click over here, open and you're done. So essentially that is one way of maybe changing the drawables. But what if you don't like the color but you like the way it looks? So all you need to do is again if I just go back to the phone menu and click on colors this time. So what you see here are two different colors. I mean I don't really like the pink one so I'll go ahead and click on it. And maybe I'll select the blue one for my theme and I'll press on OK. I can even change the saturation for that matter. Um, even the RGB index if I want. I press on OK and that's it. Secondary info background is now changed for me. Uh, to go ahead, what I'll also do is maybe show you a few more options like the miscellaneous option where you can change the boot animation 
uh, if I click on that, there'll be a zip file. I mean, the way the boot animations are packaged are generally in zip files. They're not really video files. So if you do have any, all you need to do is find it out and then select it. Same goes for delete and adding fonts, as well as changing wallpaper and preview images. If I click on that though, it takes me to these three places. Here I can select the wallpaper for my theme and the lock screen wallpaper and I can even change the preview image so that I know when I'm che checking the theme chooser as to which exact uh, theme that I have themed for myself. Going back to the file menu though, once I'm done saving, I mean making all my changes, I can easily go ahead and save the APK. It'll ask you for a path, you can rename the theme if you want and then just press on OK. I'll press cancel for now. Now the other option that we have over here is an upload to server option. If I click on that, I'm given with the choice of inputting my username and password or even registering it. Now if you go to www.communitythemes.off.rom, you'll be greeted by the same sort of window. Once you register though, it is actually just a one-time registration, you can totally upload each and every theme that you make or I mean, if you want to download maybe some other things uploaded by other users like you, you can do that too. So once you log in over here, it will always be logged in for you and you can maybe keep on uploading whatever things you have been making. For the time being though, I'll cancel it. Finally, install and apply. Right now, I don't have a phone connected to my computer, but if I did, then all it will do is look for an Android device, it will find my phone and directly install the theme on my phone without me needing to do anything. Which makes it pretty simple. Yeah, I'll yes, it is finished successfully. So I think that is a pretty decent roundup for what the theme creator is like, you know, able to do right now. Now with time, we are going to make this theme even more powerful and easy to use. So do keep trying it, and so just any changes or features which will add to its functionality, and do think about it. Now do not forget to follow our official blog or on XGA. And we are all on the major social networks, so do not forget to get connected out there either. And you'll have a good day, and I'll be back soon with a few other tutorials. So till then, adios.